I'm going to do some random pulls for Mahjong competition rules. If you're new to this version, there are links in the video description below so that you can learn the fundamentals. Download this player reference so that you can study the scoring elements. Scoring elements are also called fawn. Each fawn has a value. You've got to have eight points to qualify to win. And that's why I like to do random pulls. I train myself to identify potential fawn If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls. One for each wind of the round, starting with east round. I'm going to roll these dice to determine which player we are. Player one, two, three, and four. I rolled a two, so we're going to be south. Player two. I'll get 13 tiles. We have a flower. This is not included in your eight point minimum. So we have two dots, we have four bams including a pung of nines, we have five cracks including a pair, and then we have single honors east and green dragon. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would you discard? If this were my hand, I think I would focus on Charles. Discard these. If we discard the honors, we could have no honors. That is number 76, one point. We do have a five, a four, and a four, five, or maybe even a five, six. Four, five, six, mixed triple chow potential there. It's pretty light here though. So I would think about that while picking and discarding, of course. Here we have a terminal pung. That's a fawn. Number 73, one point. One point, no honors, one point. That's two. That's not enough. We need six elsewhere. We could potentially stay concealed. Fully concealed, number 56 is four points. Four, five, six. We still need two. I definitely would hold the five and the four for potential mixed triple chow. There's also a fawn called double pungs. If we could pair up the five dot, we might be able to switch to all pung and double pung. Double pung is number 65 and that's two points. Same pung in two suits. So I would focus here, discard here, see about mixed triple chow or double pungs or all pung. We only have two, a pair and a pung, so that's going to take some work. But I think that's where I would focus if this were my hand. We are going on to south round. I rolled an 11. 8, 9, 10, 11 is west.
two cracks, six BAMs, including two pair, two dots, single honors. Honors are winds and dragons. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would you discard? If this were my hand, I would play a half flesh. Even though we have some potential for mixed triple chow, seven, eight, nine in each suit. Single honors. We're in south round and we're sitting in west seat. Maybe what we could do is hold these to see if we can get a seven BAM or an eight BAM for mixed triple chow because that's eight points. Mixed triple chow is a common pattern. Number 41, eight points. One, two, three. We have chow potential in here too. Maybe stay concealed and focus on chows. Discard the honors, forget the half flesh. Try for mixed triple chow. Seven, eight, nine in each suit. This is the weakness. But if we stay concealed and do chows, maybe we could also get some score from staying concealed. We have three discards for that plan. If we played a half flush, we'd have four discards and two potential chows for mixed triple chow. I'm torn. We're in West seat, so we have two discards to wait through to see what other players would be discarding at first. Maybe discard East first just to see what comes in and take it pick by pick. Since these don't give you any value, South round West seat, we could recover half flush with maybe dragons and bams if we decide not to play mixed triple chow because this is the weakness. We are now doing west round. This time we are going to be in west seat. We have two dots, four bams, four cracks with a pair, pair of dragons, single south. We are in west, west round and west seat. So if this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If this were my hand, I would think of two different plans. First thing I see is we do have some opportunity for outside hand, Dragon Pung. We would need score elsewhere though, because that wouldn't be quite enough. But we have a 2-9, we would need to discard 4, 5, 6. Here's a 7-8, 1-3. We might be able to use that if we get another one, two, three. And then of course, Dragon Pung and a Wind. Outside hand is only four points though. That is number 55. 
So that's one thing I was thinking. The other is I've been trying to train myself to see mixed straight. Mixed straight is number 39 and it is eight points. Eight points, dragon pung would be 10. We have a one, three potential chow. We have four, five, and a nine. So we could do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That would be the mixed straight and then a dragon pung. So either way, we did not use the five. So I think what I would do, if this were my hand, is discard the five first. See what comes in. If we can get a seven or an eight, try for that mixed straight and dragon pung. Otherwise, discard these two and go for outside hand dragon pung. And then we would need maybe a couple terminal pungs or another valued honor because outside hand is only four points. Four points, two for the dragon, that's six. We would need two points elsewhere. We could maybe void a suit, void a suit for another point, and we would still need another one. That's why I was thinking about mixed straight, because that's eight points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, but this is the weakness. Only one tile represented for that suit. It'd be fun to try though. Start by discarding this. We are now on north round. For this one, let's say that we're in north seat since I rolled an eight. Two dots, four bams, six cracks, and a single dragon. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would see about a pure straight we're missing our middle block though, four, five, six. We have a one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, which actually is a fawn. Terminal chows, two terminal chows, number 72, one itty bitty point. Okay. That is not nearly enough. So another thing that I was thinking is all simples, all pung, discard these isolated, 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 ouch, pair, pair, potential chow, which we have right there. But all simples, no ones and nines can be used. I don't think that would be a good plan because of all the isolated tiles. I think I would do my best to draw in cracks for pure straight. Keep the five. Discard. Let's keep it in order. I got to try to train myself to keep them in order. Because you never know, tiles that come in could change your mind and then you'd have to rearrange your tiles. So I think what I would do is try for pure straight, gather cracks, hold the fives because there is a scoring element called double pungs. Double pungs is number 65 and that's two points. 
Pure straight, by the way, is number 28, and that is 16 points. I think that's where my focus would be, pure straight. Obviously, we have a big gap right there, four, five, six. So I think I would discard the eight first. We do have one, three, and twos. If we get one dot, one bam, we could maybe do mixed triple chow. But I think I would start here and then the twos if the mixed triple chow opportunity doesn't come in. Pure straight double pungs. Actually, that wouldn't work because a pure straight is three blocks. This would be a block, and then we would need a pair. So we wouldn't be able to do double pungs with a pure straight. So I think what I would do because of that is still hold the fives, see about the pure straight for the primary focus, and then maybe pair up and pung. In which case, it would be nice to have the fives. So pure straight would be one, two, three blocks, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, if we pung here, and then a pair somewhere. So that's why a double pung with a pure straight just is not possible. It's a nice idea, but we wouldn't have enough score if we tried double pungs. That's a pretty low scoring fawn, just two points. But if we paired up and punged, all pung is, let's see, all pung number 49 is six points. Double pung would be eight. We only have two pair though. I would focus on cracks. Discard the eight. Discard these. Hold this to see if pungs come in. Otherwise, try for a pure straight. Since there are three suits numbered one through nine, more times than not, you're gonna get mixed suits. Maybe three or four of each suit. That's why you want to train yourself to look for repeating patterns and build around them. Sometimes though, you'll have a predominant suit with maybe some winds and dragons. That's when I like to go for a half flesh. Half flesh and valued honors. That's a quick way to eight points. Otherwise, I like to look for opportunities with the mixed suits, like mixed triple chow, or a mixed straight, or maybe shifted chows or shifted pungs even. Download this player reference so you can study the scoring. This game will really keep you on your toes, especially with that eight point minimum. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random polls for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.